2023 Mercedes EQE QE 354 Matic First Test, absolutely not an electric E-Class. Pros Great rear wheel steering tech Up to 305 miles of range Beautiful interior details Cons Vague brake feel from self-moving pedal Awkward proportions Doesn't ride as well as an EQS Immediately, you can tell something's different Approaching a 2023 Mercedes EQE the future pod design unabashedly looks ahead while the 2021 Motor Trend Car of the Year winning E-Class wears a variation of a stylistic theme we've seen for more than half a century. The more we experience the 2023 Mercedes EQE 354MATIC, the more we discovered it has a spirit all its own. In place of that E-Class magic is a luxury first, second, and third package that beats the E on one metric but falters in others. Here's why the 2023 Mercedes EQE 354MATIC isn't an obvious choice. Many EQE models, OnePlus. Our 2023 Mercedes EQE 354MATIC test car sits in the middle of the non-AMG EQE lineup with its dual-motor all-wheel drive layout. The plus on base models designates the rear-drive model that will get the best EPA-rated range figure, estimated at 305 miles. Figure below 300 for the EQE 354MATIC. Those numbers are great as long as you don't also consider the higher-priced Tesla Model S and Lucid Air. Really, only one direct competitor exists in the EQE size and price class, the Genesis G80 Electric. The G80 EV has standard all-wheel drive and boasts 282 miles of range, but it lacks the variety of models Mercedes provides within the EQE lineup. Higher in the EQE sedan range is the more powerful EQE 504 Matic model. At the top of the EQE line is the Mercedes-AMG EQE, which offers up to 677 horsepower from two motors. Back on Earth, the EQE 354 Matic model makes 288 horsepower and 564 lbft of torque, figures that sound like an upgrade over the less powerful E350, but the electric Mercedes weighs 1,400 pounds more. Despite that heavy truth, the EQE 354MATIC manages to match an E454MATIC in 0 to 30 mph acceleration, 1.6 seconds, and on to a 5.2 seconds 0 to 60 time. That's not bad for a modern luxury car, but the dual-motor G80 electric smokes it, the Genesis only needs 4.1 seconds to reach 60. The G80 is also slightly quicker to charge, with a 187 kW peak charge rate on a DC charger compared to the EQE 354MATIC's 170 kW rate. You won't notice this when you charge at home overnight, but on a road trip, we'll take any quick charging advantage we can get. On the street, we felt the near-instant whoosh of speed you get in most other EVs, but it tapers off about halfway along your journey to 60. The EQE 504 Matic and AMG FED EQE should feel quicker, but let's have some perspective, the fact a 350-badged Mercedes hits 60 in less than 6.0 seconds is more than sufficient for most drivers. Considering the EQE 350's expected efficiency and range, it's an okay trade-off for a car with three other models available. Some luxury, no sport. The rest of the 2023 Mercedes EQE 354MATIC's driving experience doesn't impress much. Braking from 60 to 0 mph required 117 feet, a respectable distance for a 5,484-pound car, but the brake field was roundly criticized by editors as hard to judge on and off the track. Part of the issue is the same problem we've called out on other new electric Mercedes cars, the brake pedal moves to match the amount of regenerative braking happening at any time. Although the idea is to make the transition between regenerative and friction braking feel more natural, instead it often leads to situations where the pedal isn't always where we expect it to be. We're unsure we'd get used to this over time. When challenged by uneven or poorly maintained road surfaces, the EQE 350 also failed to live up to the EQS hatch's very high ride quality standard. Then again, maybe comparing the EQE dynamics to the EQS is unfair, so let's compare apples to similarly priced apples. When driven around the same Motor Trend figure 8 course, the G80 electric felt quite well composed for a gas engine car converted to a full EV. 
As for the EQE 350, it also felt heavy, but this wasn't a positive. We noted its mushy brake pedal as well as gooey and imprecise steering. Unlike the E-Class, which beautifully balances luxury and sport in E450 form, the EQE 350 is all in on a luxury first focus. That's fine, but the experience wasn't as sparkling as we'd like. One bright spot is the rear axle steering system, technology we've seen on other Mercedes cars, too. On the EQE 350, it has the same effect, it makes the car feel more maneuverable thanks to the rear wheel's ability to rotate in the opposite direction to the fronts at low speeds. Our test car had the 10-degree version of the feature, a less extreme 4.5-degree system is also available. Beautiful interior, but a few misses. Our Pinnacle Trim 2023 Mercedes EQE 350 made a stunning first impression inside. Before some of us realized how the car's high cowl limited outward visibility, we loved the beautiful combination of light brown seats, beige upper dash, and gray-brown matte wood trim. Also, the turbine-style outer air vents are exquisite, it's another rewarding detail that helps justify prices that start at $76,050 for a base EQE350+. The biggest issue isn't with visibility or the fussy exterior door handles, rather, it's the car's overall design. We'd gladly accept a less aerodynamically efficient shape for something more attractive. And no, it doesn't need to have a traditional sedan shape. But when you apply the EQS hatchback proportions on a smaller sedan, the result, especially in profile and the rear three-quarter views, make it look to us like the rest of the rear end is missing or smushed. We welcome new and exciting designs, whether their underpinnings be electric or gas-powered. But while the EQE undoubtedly makes a statement, it's not one most of us appreciate. That's too bad, as the 2023 Mercedes EQE 350 brings down the cost of a non-SUV electric Mercedes compared to the EQS four-door. The EQE 350 lacks the acceleration of the single-spec G80 electric, but the Mercedes is quick enough and it's backed by a long-standing brand many trust. But there are too many compromises for us to recommend it the way we did the E-Class two years ago. The 2023 Mercedes EQE 350 lacks that car's dynamic versatility, and at $93,640 as tested, it isn't a perfect mid-size luxury sedan. Still, the E-Class wasn't perfect out of the box either. We hope the rest of Mercedes EQE lineup improves on the 350's basics. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.